Italy is a country named for its defense. Many great Italian defender are there in the history of football. There is also one such legendary goalkeeper in Italy. We are not saying about Buffon. That legendary goalkeeper is none other than Dino Zoff. Dino Zoff was a perfect leader for the club and country. He was often described as typically modest and hard-working footballer. Early days, growing in northern Italy, when Dino Zoff took up goalkeeping as his career, Zoff's talent was overshadowed by constant concern over his lack of height. His father told him to pursue a different career, urging his son to become a mechanic instead of a footballer. Because of his deficiency in height, his grandmother fed him 8 eggs a day from her farm in an attempt to boost his height. His trial session failed to impress both Inter and Juve, but he got the likes of Udinese. Finally, Dino Zoff made a Serie A debut. It didn't go well as expected. The Udinese were blown away 5-2 by Fiorentina, a result which ended the side relegated to Serie B. Zoff performed excellently and helped Udinese bounce back to Serie A, where he was moved to Mantova, then to Napoli, where he earned national recognition. He bought calmness and security in the Napoli defense. Dino Zoff prompted Juve to sign him in the summer 1972. By then, Dino Zoff won the 1968 European Championship and represented the Azzurri in 1970 World Cup. Playing in Juve, Dino Zoff won 6 Serie A titles, 2 Coppa Italia and 1 UEFA Cup. In 1973, he was voted second for the Ballon d'Or despite losing the European Cup final. Before 1982 World Cup, Zoff's Italy career after winning the Euro 1968 had been series of disappointment. Despite having turned 40 and battling arthritis, everything went Zoff's way in 1982 World Cup. Dino Zoff captained Italy to their third World Cup win, which made him the oldest player to win the World Cup. Dino Zoff also had a record of not conceding a goal in an international match for 1143 minutes. Tournament top goal scorer Paolo Rossi said he was the only one who truly represented the team. He was an example to all of us. So at the end of the video, what do you think about Dino Zoff? Come on down. Subscribe Football Genesis for more football related facts and stories.